It has come to my attention that over the years that I have like reflected on my life and all of the things that I've gone through and all of the events that I've gone through, I come to the conclusion that I'm the problem. I have done a lot of bad things in my life to people, to myself, and I'm now coming to the conclusion that I am the problem. There's a reason why people don't feel comfortable being around me. There was a reason why my ex broke up with me. There is a lot of reasons as to why I was just left out of everything and why my family is kind of hesitant around me and it's because I am the problem. It does not matter what you've gone through in your life. Like I don't care if you've gone through a lot of things in your life that made you traumatized. All of the things that you've gone through, it's up to you to fix the way that you reacted in those situations and the way that it has molded you into the person you are today. A lot of people just assume, well, I'm justified in acting this way because a lot of people have done me wrong. In my case, I was severely bullied from K through 12, like my whole life, and I'm still bullied to this day. I have a lot of people who used to work at Target, and every single time I go in there, everybody is like running from me. Everybody is avoiding me, and everybody is just trying to get away from me. And it's because I did some questionable things, and I did some things that weren't good to make people be like, hold up, like I'm not gonna associate myself with this person. Everybody just needs to like collectively take accountability and ownership for the things that they did wrong. Understand how important it is to take accountability for your actions. When you wanna go through a self-love journey and a self-growth journey, it is so important that you take that initiative to take accountability for your actions. To say like, look, like I fucked up here. I did this wrong, I did that wrong. How can I fix it? That's another thing too. You don't wanna be just solely a victim and just say like, okay, I fucked up, I'm a horrible person. Like, no, that's not what you wanna do. When you're going through your self-love journey, you want to grow and you want to learn from your mistakes. And that doesn't mean ponder and sit there and feel sorry for yourself about the things that you did wrong. I was guilty of this. I was guilty of just playing the victim all of the time, putting the blame on others and blaming it on my childhood and blaming it all of all of my trauma and you know, my mommy issues, my daddy issues, like everything. But I'm not actually like looking at the fact that it is me and only me that is saying these things, that are doing these actions, that are, you know, having this mentality. It's me. Everything that you do, everything that you say, and everything that you put out into the universe, that is you doing that. Nobody else is doing it. Nobody else is telling you, go be rude to that person. Nobody's telling you to shut yourself out and isolate yourself and make everybody around you uncomfortable. Nobody's telling you that. It's because you are taking everything so personally and you are internalizing it that that's what you're putting out. And instead of taking this as a lesson, and instead of taking all of the things that you've gone through as something that you can grow from, you're just making things worse. And nobody, I'm sorry, but nobody is going to pity you. Nobody's gonna pity you, nobody cares. That's the thing, it's just like, it's not in a way where like the world sucks or anything like that, but genuinely, nobody cares at the end of the day. What matters is the actions that you are making and the actions that you are putting out into the universe. Be the bigger person and start saying, okay, this is how I fucked up, so what am I gonna do to grow from this? What did I learn from this experience and how can I prevent it from happening again if it was a really bad experience and it was on you? I say this because I'm gonna share a little bit. I'm not gonna explain too much. My last relationship ended because of me and it was because I was the toxic one and it and the reason why I was toxic, I'm not justifying it at all, but I just want to give an explanation. I was the toxic one because of being out of a five year abusive relationship. And of course that molds your thinking, right? That like shifts your behavior, that shifts the way you think. So then when you go into a new relationship, you're already projecting all of your insecurities and all of your trauma and all of your baggage onto this new person. It's an explanation as to why I did that, but it didn't make it right. I shouldn't have cursed up a storm to him. I shouldn't have reacted the way I did when he did something that I didn't like. I shouldn't have run away from him. Like just lit, like I mean literally, like run away across the parking lot making him chase me. I shouldn't have done any of those things. And I feel horrible about it to this day. But at the end of the day, it's like I forgive myself. I know that that was an experience to learn from because you learn from that. You understand that that's not right because I was so used to having that behavior in my past relationship because of the abuse that I just figured it's okay and that I can do it again. No, it's not. Just learn to reflect on the things that you did wrong and understand that it's okay. It is completely okay to mess up. 
because mistakes don't mean that you're a bad person. Mistakes don't automatically make you a villain. Mistakes don't automatically make you this horrible person that deserves to die, even though a lot of people, I don't know, some people experience this, but a lot of people will wish death on you or wish the worst on you and like will actively hate you and just think you're the most horrible person in the world, but mistakes don't define you. It's just some things that you did wrong that you can learn from because at the end of the day, we're all human. We all make mistakes, right? It is okay to make mistakes and it is okay to mess up. What's not okay is that you continue to mess up over and over and over again without learning the lesson. That's not okay. Because then that just means that you're gonna just think, oh, well, you know, I forgive myself for being horrible, so I'm just gonna keep doing it over and over and over again. What's not okay is just being like, oh, okay, well, I make these mistakes, but I forgive myself and, you know, I'm perfect and I'm whatever and I'll just keep doing it because I don't care. Like, no, that's not, you're not learning from that. Learn from those mistakes, understand that what you did was wrong and try again, try again. Take it as a learning experience Take it as an experience that you're gonna learn from. If you feel guilty about the thing that you did wrong, that means you're a good person. If you were not a good person, you wouldn't feel anything for doing the thing that you did wrong. If you feel guilty about it, that means that you actually have remorse, that you feel bad about doing that thing because that thing is wrong and you know it's wrong. Bad people don't care when they do bad things. That's the difference. And that's what I've learned. And that's how I know that I'm not a bad person. Bad people, will do bad things and not give a shit <laughs> they don't care about how you feel they don't care about the consequences they just do it because they feel like it that is a bad person that is somebody who is deeply hurt and wounded and needs to heal from whatever trauma that they have if you are genuinely learning from this mistake and you feel guilty and you feel like like really bad about it good you know it's wrong and you're gonna take the steps to do better obviously it's not okay to like go forward and be like oh well i ruined everything so you know like, like no <laughs> like you're not gonna do that you're not gonna like be dramatic and you know want to shut yourself out from the world just because of one small mistake which you know i'm guilty of because oh lord i suffer from a lot of self-esteem issues and every single time i made like one mistake i'm like a, a perfectionist okay so every single time i made a mistake and i disappointed somebody i thought my world was just crumbling down and everything was just falling and, and that it's over it's done like i'm horrible like no i had to learn to be present if you mess up and you know that you did something wrong you have to sit there with the mistake for a little bit you have to sit there and say okay like okay i messed up this is something that I did wrong. Let me sit here in this moment and just take it all in. Feel that emotion, feel the anger, feel the sadness, feel the guilt, just feel it. Don't even say anything, feel the emotions. Like if you have to scream, girl, scream in your car. If you have to cry, let the waterworks flow. Like I don't care, like just feel your feelings. What you don't do though is me, for example, I'm a talker. So I like to talk to myself and scream all of these horrible things about myself and things like that. I'm still guilty of doing this because I did this not too long ago, but I stopped myself. I'm just telling you guys, I'm starting this journey, right? And I wanna go through this journey and have people see this video and reach it out to millions of people so people can see like that not all these self-help people have it all together. And all of these self-help people, I mean, I'm doing these videos because I wanna help people like me. I wanna help people and be raw. I'm not perfect. I'm still going through this journey myself, but I've learned so much within these months that I have to share this wisdom with people. I have to share what I've learned with people because I've already made such a big step in my mindset that I just felt like I had to I have to get it out there and I have to let other people know. Like, people like me that are different, that, you know, dress a little weird or like that stand out from the crowd or have been bullied all of their lives and have been ostracized and have just been like rejected from society. I want those people to look at these videos and realize there is nothing wrong with you. And what is wrong with you, like the mistakes that you make and the traits that you have that could be better, that could be improved, it's nothing to be ashamed about. Learn from your mistakes. Just because you mess up and you disappointed some people, some people actively hate you, there's people coming from your throat left and right and you're getting like hate messages and things like that. Just because it seems like the world is against you doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with you. These things happen. Sometimes it happens to more people than others and you just have to learn to navigate through it. Of everybody that's hating on you and everybody that's saying stuff about you, what's important is that you stay true to you, that you don't hate yourself for it, that you are gonna sit there and be like, let me fix this. Instead of sitting there and complaining about how everybody hates you and how the world hates you and da da da. Pick up some self-help books, go on YouTube, fill your mind with positivity and basically brainwash yourself. I'm, I'm just saying because that was the technique I used that helped me. 
brainwash your mind this is my life now this is who i want to be regardless of the obstacles that i'm going through and regardless of the mistakes that i have made nothing is going to get in my way nothing is going to hinder me from becoming my best version of myself because all of the mistakes i made are just another step in the right direction meditation helps a ton i'm like still really bad at it but with time i'm gonna get better journaling putting in so much care into yourself literally cutting off every single thing that doesn't serve you cutting off the people that don't serve you cutting off social media if you have to i deleted social media and i highly recommend that a lot of people do it because i am my phone keeps cutting out i'm sorry but as i was saying with social media i highly recommend that if you're going through this self-love journey to just cut it all off focus on you and just take the necessary steps that you need to take in order to better yourself and forgive yourself i have no storage on my phone so i'm gonna wrap it up but be compassionate with yourself things happen and you just got to take it easy with yourself and understand that you are only human and we all make mistakes and that's okay i really appreciate you guys watching this video don't forget to subscribe i'm really sorry if i've been off about like uploading lately i just don't have enough storage on my phone so i'm trying to be able to find ways to make some more room because i have a lot of things that are documented like throughout my self-love journey and i want to be able to implement it in one big video when i post about my year of being off of social media and just showing you guys my journey so hopefully i figure it out and hopefully i get a camera or something so i can continue to do this but anyways you are amazing i love you all so much and i hope you guys all have a beautiful rest of your day i hope you guys are loving yourselves and loving everyone around you because love is beautiful but yeah i appreciate you guys so much and i will see you guys later Bye.